Now we are going to speak of the problem of the contamination of water and food. In this case, uh, the unit is called the becquerel, BQ. The becquerel is a very simple unit. One becquerel means that you have one radioactive atom that is disintegrating and is throwing away radiation like the radiation we measured. So you will speak about becquerel per kilogram, for example, if you have 1,000 becquerel per kilogram in a sample of mushrooms or spinach, it means that at each second, 1,000 atoms are disintegrating and emitting radiation. So if you eat this sample, you will receive this radiation inside your body. It's called internal contamination by ingestion. You will also have becquerel per liter. If you speak about the contamination of water, 1,000 becquerel per liter means that in one liter of water, you have 1,000 atoms which are disintegrating. And if you drink this sample of water, you will receive this radiation inside your body. So now we are going to check the contamination of mushrooms which have been contaminated by cesium-137 from Chernobyl. So the half-life is 30 years, which means that even 25, 25 years after Chernobyl, those mushrooms are still contaminated. The mushrooms have been dried, so changed into a powder and put into different plastic boxes. If you have becquerels in the sample, it means that you have gamma radiation getting out of the plastic and irradiating. So you can try to check if you detect the amount of becquerels inside the samples. We will use this um, very sensitive gamma meter we have a natural background in this room with a, a fluctuation, which is normal. There is a statistical fluctuation. We have between, let's say, 50 and 80 counts per second. If we check this first sample of mushroom, we detect no increase of radiation. Because in this sample, you have a between 100 and 200 becquerels of cesium-137. But it is not enough to get enough gamma radiation to increase, really, the background. So you cannot detect the contamination of those mushrooms even with a very sensitive scintillometer. You need to put the sample in a device in the laboratory to really measure the contamination in becquerels. But then, if you increase the amount of becquerels, you will reach a moment in which it will increase the gamma radiation around the sample. For example, this sample has about 1,000 becquerels, and it is slightly increasing background radiation. Let's say about 30%. Now we measure between, let's say, 100 and 110 counts per second. In this sample, we have now 2,000 becquerels of cesium altogether, and it's more easily detected. The amount of radiation is now about 130, 140 counts per second. Now, in this sample, we have 3,000 becquerels of cesium-137, and we detect more gamma radiation. We have now about 160 counts per second. But, you see there that you need to have quite a huge amount of becquerels
to really see a small increase in gamma radiation. And the sensitivity or your uh, detecting technique will also depend on the background. If we were now near Fukushima, in locations where the background is not 80 counts per second, but maybe 2,000 counts per second and even more, we could not detect any increase from those samples because the background radiation would be too huge.